Welcome back to Game Development with Pygame. In this video, we're going to be adding persistent data to our platform game. And what I mean by that is a high score that will stick around after we quit playing and come back the next time. Ready? Let's get started. So in this video, we want to talk about doing file I.O., which is written like this. I.O. stands for input and output. So it's how you have your program read and write information from another file. Specifically for this example that we're going to do, um, we want to do a high score, which means we want to save whatever your high score is, we want to save that so that when you quit the program, the next time you run it, you'll be able to, the program will be able to see that high score and, and it's saved. Um, and the only way to do that, since when the program ends, right, all of our variables stop existing, we can't save it in the program, we need to save it to a separate file. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to settings and I'm going to add another setting um, constant here to tell us what the name of the file we're going to keep our high score in is. So that's going to be highscore.txt. It's just going to be a simple text file with a number in it. And that number will be whatever the high score is. And so this will be the name of the file that the program will look for to open. And we're also going to need to, over here in our main, we're going to import the path command. Um, this is going to help us locate other files on the computer. Um, if you have watched the shmup game tutorial, um, you know, when we went through loading our files, we talked about uh, different operating systems and how Windows uses backslashes and uh, OS X and Linux use forward slashes and all of that can get uh, confusing to keep track of where files are. So we use this path command to build our file locations automatically. Um, and I'll link to the video below if you want to go back and review uh, how that worked. And the first thing we want to do is when the program starts up, we want to go look at that high score file and read the value in so we know, so the game knows what the high score is. And so we can go over here to our startup. When we first start up here um, and create the game object, we can load the file. Now planning ahead, we know we're also going to load lots of, you know, graphics and sounds and things when we add those. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a load data uh, function so that we have that all grouped together. Okay, and so this will be where we'll put all the graphics loading and the sound and all that kind of stuff. But for right now, we're just going to load the high, the high score. And so we need to figure out what folder our program is located in right, where on the computer it lives. So we can use that path command to figure that out, right? And then that way we can have, you know, other folders that hold all our graphics or, and, and so on. Our high score file, we're just gonna save it in the same folder that our program lives in. Now, now we need to open that file. And when you open a file in Python, um, you, you know, the computer goes and locates that file on the hard drive and it opens it for reading so that it can look inside the file and see what's inside it. And then you can do whatever you need to do, um, you know, write information to it, read information out of it. Um, and then at the end, you need to close that file um, because you don't want, you know, what can happen is something bad can happen if more than one program opens the file at the same time and they're both trying to do different things to it. Um, so you want to make sure you close the file so you're no longer doing things to it. And a lot of times programs will run into trouble because they, you know, write the code to work with a file and then they forget to close it, you know, somewhere. And everything works, seems to work fine for a while and then you will get strange errors later on that become, that can be kind of difficult to track down. So in Python, a great thing you can use, and the fancy name for it is a context, um, but I'll explain it this way. If we, we, make, we basically make a little uh, block of code that operates with the, open, the file open command. 
Okay, the file open command or the open command is, is the one we use to open a file. And so we're going to open our um, we're going to open our high score file. So we just join use path.join to join whatever folder we're in with the name of the high score file we decided to use. And that will open the file. And then when you open a file, you have some options that you can set. Okay. And there's a variety of ones you can use. You can use R if you want to read from the file. You can use, uh, you can put a B if it's a, a binary file or a T if it's a text file. You can put a W if you want to write. Um, sometimes you want to only put stuff at the end of an existing file. There's a lot of different options. Okay, I'm going to use the W here because the W will actually open the file for reading and for writing, but also if the file doesn't exist, which it doesn't right now because we haven't created it, then it will create the file. So otherwise, if I just tried to do R here, it's going to look for the file and if the file doesn't exist, we'll get an error message and the program ends. And You never really want that. So I want to create the file if it doesn't exist. Okay, and then we just give this a name, we'll just call it F for short. So in this little width, or sorry, width block, it's going to work with the open file. And when this block of code ends, the file will automatically be closed. Okay, so now we could read from the file. Now I could do it this way. I could say, give it to a... Uh, a variable here called high score and we could just say oops f dot read so read from the file whatever's in there which is going to come in as a string and then convert it to a number and then I would have a number but think about what's going to happen if I just created this file because it didn't exist and the file is empty then what I read out of it is nothing you know there's nothing existing there so you can't take and make an integer out of that string. Oops, sorry, that string. You know, there's nothing inside it. So you'd get an error message. So again, we have a problem where what do we how do we cover all the possibilities so that we don't get an error message and our program crashes? Well, this is where we want to use something called a try uh, except. And so what tr what this does is lets you have two different options, something that you can, some code that you can run, and then some other code you can run in case that code breaks or has an error. Um, so what we want to run is self.highscore equals int f.read, right? We want to run that. And if that works, because there was something in the file, there was a number in the file, then we're fine. But if it doesn't work, then we get an error or what can also be called an, an exception, which is another word for error. If we get that error, then we're going to set self dot high score equal to zero. So it didn't find anything in the file. We might, maybe we just created it, or maybe something went wrong another time and, and there's something wrong in the file. So forget it, we're just going to call the high score zero. So now we've, so now we've got our high score being read. Okay, now to make sure this is, to see if this is working, what we're going to do, what we'll do is we'll go down to our show start screen and we'll add something on there to show what the high score is. Okay. So I'm just going to add another um, draw text command and I'm going to say the high, oops, high score. And I'm going to draw that at the same size we've been doing, light width over two, and I'm going to put it, uh, I'm just going to stick it at the top of the screen. Okay, so now we should be able to run our program. It's going to not see the file, so it's going to create it. So I'll open up the file manager here, and you can see this is the folder, this working folder is where we're currently 
editing the code. So you see there's no highscore.txt file. But now when I run this program, oops, I forgot to do, what did I do? Oh, I wrote dir name here twice when I was talking. I want, I want the directory name of the file. You guys see that? I just made a little typo while I was talking. Um, all right, so we run our program. Notice over here in the folder, this high score text file has been created now. It just came into existence, and obviously there was nothing in it, so our exception triggered, and we set the high score to zero. So now we can see what our high score is. Okay, so now we have our high score being read. We know what it is. Um, hopefully you can see how these try and accept clauses are very useful. Um, anytime you need to run, you're going to run some code and you're not entirely sure, or you, you know there's a case where it might fail, um, you can have basically a safety, um, as opposed to if we ran this without, you know, we could have our program just crash if the high score file wasn't there for some reason. If it got deleted or something went wrong, then the program won't even run, and that's frustrating. So, okay, so we have our high score in our game. Now we need to see if the player, you know, if the player beat it. So I'm going to go to the game over screen here. And in the game over, we're going to um, add a little message here. If they, got a, if they got a high score, we also need to save that high score to the file so that it's, uh, so it's permanent. So I'm going to say here, uh, I'll just put this after the other text here. If the score is greater than the high score. So we did it, we got a high score. Then, then we make the high score equal to the score. Now we have a new one, right? And we want to say something to congratulate the player for doing it. So we're going to say, uh, you got a new high score, right, center it, and I'm going to put that at height over two where we, is where we put the score. So I'm going to put that right below where we wrote the score. So you see where your score is, and then you get this little message saying new high score. Now I'm also going to open up the file to write it. So just like we did in the loading, we're going to uh, we're going to open up the high score file with a W because we are going to be writing to it, and we're going to just say f dot write. So we're just going to write what the score was. And we need to convert it to a string because this is a text file. And that will do that. Now if we didn't get a new high score, then I'm also going to just um, say what the high score was. So I'm just going to do like I did here. I'll just copy and paste that down here. And I'll put that at same place, right over 2 plus 40. All right, let's see how it goes. Okay, our high score is 0, so I'm going to play. I'm just going to jump a little bit. Now my I got a 20, so hopefully when I fall off, hey, look, we got a new high score, press a key to play again. Well, I will, but first I want to just take a look. Let's go look at our high score file. Yep, see, it has a 20 in there. So we correctly wrote what we were supposed to write in there. And now if we run it again, um, I'll jump up a little bit higher and get, hey, I got a new high score of 50. Now let's make sure that if I die yeah, see, I got 20, the high score was 50. Okay, so everything is working the way we want it to. All right, thanks for watching. As always, if you have any questions, please post them below. 
um, hopefully you can see how this would be useful and could be extended to um, add to other programs to be turned into um, something a little more complicated like a save game uh, things like that are just extensions of this basic process um, this is the the simplest example I could come up with for reading and writing from a file, just putting one number in there. Um, all right, next time we will come back and we will add more to our platform game. I think next time we will start talking about graphics. All right, thanks for watching.